know saying the pattern of the spirit exploring the pattern of the spirit and I will show you one or two keys that can bring you into mega supernatural shift one of them is to exploit the pattern of the spirit The things of the spirit are not operated on chance and luck. They are programmed on spiritual principle or spiritual laws. When the right principle is used, the result will definitely come. God is also a God of pattern. Turn to your neighbor and say God is also a God of pattern. And one of the ways that can bring you into mega supernatural shift or bring you into mega shift is to be able to exploit the pattern of the spirit. The pattern of the spirit. Exodus chapter 25 and verse 40. And look that thou make them after their pattern which was showed thee in the mound. When Moses was building the tabernacle in the wilderness, the Bible say in Exodus 25 40 that and look that thou make them after their pattern which was showed thee in the mound that God continued to come down to insist that you make them according to the pattern there was a pattern that God showed him and God said to Moses that you make them according to the pattern that was showed thee on the mound there are spiritual patterns some of you say they are spiritual patterns and that is why people cannot come into major shift they can not come into that supernatural shift because they don't understand the spiritual pattern of the spirit and next year is going to be a year of exploring the pattern of the spirit we must understand the pattern of the spirit because they are evil forces, evil spirit, they are manifesting also in their patterns. And we must be clear about all these things. And I pray that this conference will so much indicate us and inject in us a spiritual virus that will make us to be a prayer machine. That will make us to be sensitive about the things of the spirit. In the name of Jesus. I say they are spiritual patterns. Things do not just happen haphazardly. There is a pattern of growth. There is a pattern of influence. And that if you want to host my glory, you must ensure that the house is built according to the pattern shown unto you on the mound. If the tabernacle must house my presence, if the tabernacle must house the glory of God, it must be built there according to the pattern that was shown you in the mound. So he said, build it according to the pattern that God shows you. And that is why, you see, we can enter into some mega ship. The reason is because everybody is busy building. Everybody is building to make name for himself. Everybody wants to find relevancy. Everybody want to be known. It's no longer God again. But listen to me. Everything that we must do here, it must glorify God. It must what? It must glorify. Anything that we must do here on earth, it must glorify God. So we're talking about the pattern of the spirit. Exploring the pattern of the spirit. There are dimensions that we are going to receive and hear in this conference and that is why when we come to conference make sure you come in with an open mind because 
you will hear new things that will change your perspective and reposition you for greater things Amen. next year is a year of god revealing his glory upon his tabernacle and those that have been building for years and they are not building according to the pattern of god for every vision there is a pattern you know why nigeria is going the way it is going is because we are not building the nation according to the blueprint according to the pattern set for the nation there is a prophetic word for this nation and if this nation more reach its maximum height must reach its potential we must get leaders that connect in the spirit to be able to capture or have the blueprint patterns of what god wants for this nation but here we are talking about the pattern of the spirit here why is it that we are not seeing mega thing in this nation no mega roads no mega uh, industries no everything is down if we want to see mega shift we must understand or we must exploit the pattern of the spirit say moses he come down each time he will come down and say to moses moses build it according to the pattern that was shown you on the mount which means if he doesn't build it according to the pattern that was shown him on the mount it would not house the possibilities of god the glory of god cannot come the glory of god cannot be seen because it is not built according to the pattern that was shown him on the mount please follow so i say there is a pattern for growth there are pattern for influence when you see a man that is so influential you must come close to ask him several questions because if you don't exploit the patterns for influence you will never see it so it is amazing that the shekinah god never rested upon that tabernacle until they finished the work according to the pattern that was shown him while he was building the tabernacle the shekinah god did not rest on the building until he finished building the tabernacle and god saw that it was built according to the pattern that was shown him and then the shekinah god came upon the mountain the temple was so filled with the glory of god which is a picture and typology of, of us you know in the old covenant listen in the old covenant it was types and shadows they are adumbration of the reality that is to come but when paul speaking in corinthians he said know ye not that you are the temple of the holy spirit that tabernacle in the wilderness it was a picture it was a typology of the church of today because now we have the ability to house the possibilities or house the presence of god in the old testament they could not house the presence of god because they were not a transformed people the reason why we house the presence of god and we become his temple is because we are a regenerated people the Old Testament man has no capacity to house the possibilities or the presence of God because he was not a regenerated man. What a privileged generation. We carry God in our tabernacle. We are the mobile tabernacle. Say, I am a mobile tabernacle. I am a mobile tabernacle. And that is why he said, glorifies in your body. For the body is not your own. They present your body as a livery sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. For this is your reasonable service. Because God now dwells in you. You become the place of his abode. So amazing. So I am a mobile tabernacle that I carry God. I carry God. Kalabusha, can you just bring it down? You are the Holy Ghost. Come and take your place. You are the Holy Ghost. Come and take your place. Do it now.
everybody. Do we? Do we? No what? No. You are the Holy Ghost. Come and tell. You are the Holy Come and to eat us, to for us. To eat us, to for us. You are the Holy Ghost. Hey, come and have your way. You are the Holy Ghost. Come and have your way. To eat us, to for us. Listen. The Holy Ghost in the old covenant rested upon a tabernacle that was built according to the pattern that was set in the heavens. It pleases the Father to say, I will rest upon a tabernacle that was built with a hand. But we are a spiritual house, Kabania. We are no longer a physical house that was built with hands. We are a spiritual house to offer to God a spiritual sacrifice. Ay, 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 ay. You have the possibilities of God. You are not normal. I prophesy upon your life. For... <laughs> Next day is going to be a year of manifesting your beauty. Manifesting your glory. Manifesting your beauty. Manifesting your glory. Manifesting your beauty. Peter speaking, he said to the church in Jerusalem, he said we are no longer a house built with hand, but we are a spiritual house to offer unto God a what? A spiritual sacrifice. If a house that is built with hand, God was able to behold the beauty of it and say I will rest upon this. God is telling us a time is coming that he will no longer rest on the tabernacle in the wilderness. He's resting. He's going to be. We are going to be his place of abode. You are the Holy God. Come and have your way. You are the Holy God. Come and do it us. Do for us. No one. <laughs> do it us. Do for us. Without the Holy Ghost, you can't do anything. Look at the Holy Ghost. God is a spirit. And God come and rested upon the tabernacle. Because it was built according to his pattern. Now, hear this. Hear this, brethren. When you don't build your life according to the pattern that is set in the spirit, there are measure of the glory of God that you will never carry. The life of Christ in you is the glory of God. But there is a, a full chance of the glory of God that come upon a man that have a divine assignment, that carry a divine mandate. You can be carrying a mandate without the glory of the mandate. You say, Moses, I want to show you the glory of this mandate. God said to me, he said, tell the church that the year coming is a year of manifesting the glory of mandates. Manifesting the glory of the mandate. That is why he said to Moses, he said, go and stand upon the rock. I will pass and I will hide you in the cliff of the rock. And you shall see my glory. Kamalia. You cannot carry a mandate without glory. Mandate goes with glory. In the name of Jesus. Are we following? Are we together? Please, if you are getting what I'm saying, can I, can I see you wave your hand? Listen to me. This has nothing to do with any man. This has to do with people encountering God. There are people that have encountered. I will show you one of the dimensions to um, step into your mega shift is to have divine encounter. But I will not talk about that for now. As times go on, there are some um, revelations that I will, I, I will bring. But today, I want you to understand the exploring the pattern of the spirit. Exploring the patterns of the spirit. That there are patterns that we must build according to the pattern of the spirit. Am I doing this work? Am I building it according to the pattern that is, have, have, have been revealed? We must get that. 
Everybody is doing one thing or the other for God. And we bless God for whatever everyone is doing it for God. But the reason why we cannot manifest the glory of the mandate is because we don't build it according to the pattern that he has revealed. There is a pattern that he has revealed. And he must not reveal the pattern to everyone. He must reveal the pattern to somebody that the mandate call order in. Please. Anything that you hear in this conference, open your heart. Come with an open heart to receive. One of the things that Satan always does is he ensure that he make people, when they come to conference, they close their mind over some things. After a long time, after some years, you will begin to regret it and you will say, I wish that thing that that man of God is teaching, I could have opened to it quite earlier. You just close your mind and the benefit that, that come with that revelational knowledge, you will never receive it. Until you open your heart to the in-depth revelation of such word. See, there is beauty and there are glory that are injected in the principles. By obeying and submitting to the principles of God, you become beneficiary of what it is implanted, injected into those principles. The pattern of the spirit. When God began to open my eyes about the pattern of the spirit, he said, let me show you something that you have not seen. Uh -huh. Say you are talking about mega ship. When he said mega ship, he I, the place is like it was a blank. I said, ah, Do I truly hear what God is saying? Then he said, Wait, so that you understand that it's not you. Then he said, I will show you something that you will teach, not no man. People have been teaching about ship, ship, but I'm, I will show you something that you will teach about mega ship that is uniquely different. And he showed me, he said, They are patterns of the spirit. That's the first thing that he mentioned. And so if you don't go in the pattern, they are spiritual patterns. They are patterns of growth. They are patterns of influence. And you must understand all this as a child of God. We must, under, we must, we must give ourselves to teaching. Give ourselves to the constant students of the world. When the word is coming, open your heart and receive. Say, I receive. I receive. I say it is amazing that the Shekinah God never rested upon the building until they finish the work according to the pattern God showed him on the mountain. Now look at um, Exodus 40 verse 34. Then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of the Lord sealed the tabernacle. This is a tabernacle built with a hand. When they finish building the tabernacle according to the pattern that God shows him. The Bible says the glory of God show up and fill the what? The tabernacle. So this is a typology of the church of today. It's a picture of what God will do. This is an adumbration of the church. Today we have been filled with the spirit of God. It's so amazing. Anything that you see in the law is a type and shadow. God speak to them in type and shadow because they don't have capacity to house the possibilities or house the presence of God. They were not born again. They were not a new creation man. The new creation man is sealed with the Holy Spirit on the day of redemption. And that gives him capacity to house the possibilities of God. The Old Testament man is not sealed with the spirit of redemption. With the Holy Spirit of redemption. So he doesn't have the capacity to house the possibilities of God. So see the big difference? So he can't interpret revelation until you have a dreamer among them that can interpret dream. He cannot have insight into the revelations of the world. That is why the law was given to him to guide him. Yes, sir. But we are of the spirit. And the law is written upon the table of our heart. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We are not a normal people. We are a new kind of species walking the face of the earth. See, armies are coming. The Bible said before them, a desolate wilderness. And before them, the land is as a garden of Eden. Next year, God is going to cover the church with an amazing glory. Amen. There is an affluence of the glory of God that is going to come upon individuals that are new creation man. That's going to come upon the church. The church is going to manifest a wind that we have never seen. You know, in the kingdom... There is a reward system. The, not everything in the kingdom is free gift. Salvation is free gift. 
The gift of the Holy Spirit is a free gift. But there are some blessings. There is what we call the reward system in the kingdom. If you obey the Lord your God, he will set you above your fellow. Which means such reward come into your life as, as a result of you submitting and obeying God's principles. Not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are reward systems in the kingdom. This is an apostolic dimension. And the church must understand. Listen, we must get into the place of the spirit to understand dimension in the spirit. Because so many are building and building. They are not building. I've been consistent for years. Been consistent for years. And I am building according to pattern. Imagine that you wake up and you say God told you that you will have a program. And God say gather the people so that they will be set on fire. On Christmas day. They will look at you like demon. And I tell you, what, 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 what I'm telling you. The celebration of Christmas is changing gradually. And some of us, we are the pioneering leader. That God put us in front to turn the celebration of Christmas. That people can wear good clothes and sit down under the ministry of the world. And their life is so transformed. So that you can enter the coming year with an open eyes. You know, not enter into 2021 with a, with, a, with a veil. No. You are entering in the spirit. Say, I am entering. Do your hand like this. Say, I'm entering in the spirit. Just pray in tongue. Pray in the spirit. Say, grant me humility in my spirit. Grant me humility in my spirit. Say, Lord, I pray the body of revelation that is allocated for my victory and mega shift in this conference be released in the name of Jesus. I pray for the body of revelation that is allocated for my victory and mega shift. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it in Jesus' name. Anytime you see the glory of God comes, it is to reveal or to show you that the patterns of God are kept or follow. Hmm. Anytime you see the glory of God show up, it comes to confirm that the patterns of God are kept or the patterns of God are followed. There are so many people that they cannot see the manifestation of the glory of God. It's because they don't follow the patterns of God. They don't keep the patterns of God. This is the pattern you say, no, listen to me, you must follow the patterns of the spirit. If you must see mega shift. If we must see mega shift. We must follow the pat pattern of the spirit. No wonder the, the Bible said there were two major lights that lead the people by day and by night. Yes. The cloud of what? Cloud by day. And the of fire by night. Moses said if your glory, if your presence, Shekinah glory will not go with us, I will not take a step. And God revealed himself to, to Moses. So the mandate was covered with the beauty of God. The beauty of this mandate is revealed from now. No force, no forces, elemental powers that are projected in the atmosphere that determine how the glory of a mandate can be revealed. I command them to be cut off now. Have you seen a family that the glory of the family is all over the places? They mention the name of the family. Everybody wants to be called by, by that family. And suddenly you see it just come down. Well, there are forces that fight the name of your family. There is a woman right now you are listening to me. In the time past, it was great with you. Things were going well. You were a source of inspiration and blessing to many. But as times go on, there is an elemental object that was projected against you and when that elemental object was projected you begin to feel a sign in your body and the sign began gradually gradually and then suddenly you are alive now you can you don't even know what is happening to you now you're seated right now in the congregation and as i'm speaking to you i see the light the effulgence of the glory of god break that yoke and that bondage over your life now receive your healing and your deliverance now in the name of jesus christ it doesn't matter how long it has lingered. But I see it terminated. Listen to me. It's a new season in your life. 
it's a new season in your life i see speed i see speed i see speed speed that you can't explain let me tell you next year is going to be one a year of speed for many speed for many and i see you receive it i see you receive it receive it now receive that empowerment now your life has been stagnant for a long you have dwelled on that mountain for a long time it's time to arise and move and shift you have been on the side of luck you have been on this there is a woman you are going through a reproach you are going through a reproach the yoke of reproach is broken now i say the yoke of reproach is broken now aha aha every yoke every yoke of gilgal every yoke of egypt every yoke that is over your neck i see the yoke broken now i see the yoke broken now i see the yoke broken now in the name of jesus every form of yoke there are people that are going through some yoke that they they can't understand you see they left egypt but the yoke of egypt was following them they didn't understand that is why they could not adhere to the ways of god the prophets suffered with them in the wilderness because they were yoke of egypt yet the man that carried the mandate he carried so much glory with him listen to me we must understand the pattern of the spirit for the coming year if you don't understand the pattern of the spirit people will be entering into mega mega thing you'll be shocked it's going to be a year of greater challenge but for the church the church will keep imaging Listen, it is in the time of affliction that the church would grow and walk strong. The more the church is afflicted, the more the church multiply. Do you hear what I am mean? saying? The affliction cannot stop the multiplication of the church. The yoke that they put on the church could not stop their multiplication, could not stop their increase. The only way, the only way is say stop, stop them from giving birth to male children. They thought by stopping them giving birth to male children, they will be able to conquer them because a male child represents the strength of a nation. Yes, a surprise is coming globally. I saw a surprise that is coming globally. The church is like the church going through a reproach. And I asked myself so many questions. I said, why is this? When you go through history of the church, you will see how the church is being afflicted. The church has gone through affliction. Many are the affliction of the righteous. Many are the affliction of the righteous. But my Bible tells me that the Lord will deliver them from them all. The Lord will deliver them from them all. The Lord will deliver them from them all. In the name of Jesus hallelujah the glory of god will never show up until his pattern has been kept if the pattern of god are not kept the glory of god will never show up that's why when the pattern for growth come and you don't keep the patterns of god for the mandate you will never see the growth that you're supposed to see if there are patterns that god has revealed concerning the mandate and you are part of the mandate you better follow it if not you will destroy what god wants to do you will destroy it and when you destroy it it will be a yoke on your neck it will be a yoke on your neck church doesn't belong to anybody ministry doesn't belong to anybody it belongs to god so we must build it according to the pattern that he is revealing it until the patterns are kept, the glory of God will never show. If we don't keep the pattern of God, you will not see what is going on in global flame. Each time we go to God, even when they are doing something, at times when you say, I say, go and check this thing, I'm still scaring something in the spirit. And those that are wise, they will understand that this man is hearing something. You don't follow a man of the spirit and you think he's in the flesh. He's carrying flesh like in your capacity. No. Where you are standing in the spirit is not the same. You may be feeling the anointing. You may prophesy. You may see vision. Ministry is not just about prophesying and seeing vision. 
It is a place of equipment and it's a place of transformation. Generational transformation. And you are able to pass button properly. Why did I say Moses succeed? He did not enter the promised land, but he passed the button. Any leader that does not pass button successfully, that leader has failed. You may have an anointing and you build a city, you build rot, you build a lot of things. But when you fail in transferring button, you are failed. You are failed. Because you have not kept the mantle for generational transformation. You have not. And you have caught the program of God. Because there are spiritual lineage. And there are also physical lineage for leadership. That is why some of you that are leaders in the secular. God bring you around mantles and grace. Until you are humble. There are things that if you use your head. You will miss it. You miss it. You must submit to spiritual knowledge. This is a spiritual one. This is the one that will position you and you will not miss it. Ah. Hey. Moses didn't fail. Him. He didn't. That's why even in his death, even in his death, that yes, spirit was contesting on his body. I said, what is so special about the body of Moses? That the devil came for the dead body of Moses. And then Angel Michael appeared and said, the Lord rebuke you. And the next verse, we don't see the body again. That's to tell you that God is a mystery. Angels are fighting on dead body. Then God end the contest. There are people that carry divine assignment. That even in their death, their body should be glorified. You should not cut a man that have fight so much in the spirit. You don't throw his dead body anyhow. If you throw his dead body, the body will rise up to speak against your generation. That is why Joseph the Arimitheos said, I am here. We always need rich people. Where are the Joseph? Next year we are going to see young, young men that are Joseph the Arimitheos. Give me the body of Christ. I will bury him. Because he was a man of influence. If not the Pharisees and the Sadducees will crucify him. But he was a man of influence. It take influence for government to submit. It take influence for authority to power. It take influence. You want to take the body of a criminal to bury? You are one of them. If it is an ordinary man that says, give me the body of Jesus, I will bury. In fact, they will cut his head. But this is a man of influence. And that is why God at times brings men of influence around people that carry portals of grace. That carry unction upon their head. They carry dimension in the spirit. So that the anointing and the grace that they carry can be secure. When God sees you, you are around an anointing and you are licking the anointing. God will remove you and replace another person. What you will hear in this conference, there are new dimensions. We have waited. We have seeked the face of God. So be open. Make sure you come with an open heart. And you will receive so much. By the time we enter 2021, you will be so full of God. The glory of God is an attestation upon a life, an organization, a ministry that the pattern of the spirit has been kept. The glory is an attestation upon a life organization and ministry that the pattern of the spirit have been kept we are here to exploit the pattern of the spirit shifting is not just a confession it's not just a confession you don't come into mega shift by confession mega shift you can come into mega shift by submitting and understanding the pattern of the spirit but you can receive healing by faith. Shifting does not just come by confession. It's a movement. And so you must understand the dimension, the protocols, the spiritual principles and law that govern shifting. And I submit to you that one of the ways that you can exploit the patterns of the spirit is to submit to the patterns of the spirit. They are spiritual patterns. Let us not be a religious people. Because religion only spiritualizes God. It only spiritualizes God sincerely. 
But when we come like this, we should be open enough to say we, have, we are here to meet with God. We are here to meet with God. Be sincere in your heart. And say we are here. I've been preaching this gospel for, for quite a long time. I'll tell you. But I've, I've kept the pattern. I've kept it. And each time when I keep the pattern, I will see God show up. I will see God show up. When I'm walking with you and I see you outside the pattern, I will just be looking at you. I know there are some grace on this man that can, that can never drop on you. Let me explain something to you. There is difference between coming under the anointing of corporate ministry of the spirit and then entering into the spirit of a man that carry mandate. You can contact anointing because of association. But that does not mean that you have contacted the spirit that made the man. The spirit is the totality of what made the man. And that is what Elisha asks. He said, give me double portion of his spirit. It is a double portion of the anointing. What made Elisha? I want to have it. You can come into the anointing of a man. But it's difficult to come into the spirit of that man. <laughs> The moment when you come into the spirit of the man, what the man is doing, what, what the grace of God is manifesting in his life, it will reduplicate himself wherever you are. If not, you will be a copycat minister. One of the things that a church must not neglect in the coming year, you must see this mega supernatural shift. Because they, that's why you see the election of America is going through these problems. Because it is a season of mega shift. It is a, it's a contest between the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. It's not about personality. There is a revolution that is about to take place in the realm of the spirit. There is something that is coming on and mean that the antinam is set. They can be able to perceive and see and, and connect into what is going on. Can we pray in the spirit? Say, Lord, give me eyes of seeing and give me a perception spirit. Oh, I receive the spirit to perceive. To be able to connect into things that are going on. To be able to position and pattern my life according to the set pattern in heaven. I will not pattern myself according to the worldly system. Pattern yourself according to the God divine pattern. Say, Lord, I will pattern myself according to your divine patterns. I will pattern myself according to your divine pattern. There is God divine pattern for my life. And I begin to align with the pattern of God for my life. I begin to align with the pattern of God for my life. There is a pattern of the Spirit, sir. And I begin to yield myself to the pattern of the Spirit. Kabalia, Katosia, Riba Saka, Tilabaha, Jambrada, Shakidabaya, Vandalia Kata, Sakalabara. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. Take my place. Hey. <laughs> Take my place. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. Take my place. There is a woman God is anointing her somewhere. There is somebody God is anointing the person there. Oh, shall help. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth. Will ye? Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth. Will ye? Break forth from within me and the earth. Will ye? Break forth. From within me and the earth, will yet my altar is calling you. This is a good sound. Hey, my altar is calling you. There are people, the anointing is falling on people right now. 
is calling you. Hey, my altar is calling you. This is where the priesthood ministry began. And I come by the road of a higher priest. And I speak to every circumstance and speak to every situation. I address every condition in this nation, Kabbalia. I address every challenge by the rod of a higher priest. I turn the battle. I see the church emerge into glory. There are patterns of the spirit that we must keep. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Break forth from within me and the earth will hear. Break forth from within me and the earth. Calabosha will hear. Hey, my old is calling you. God is anointing people, I'm telling you. Hey, my old time is calling you. Oh God. Hey, my old time. There is somebody that is going to run. Wherever the person is, the person is going to run from your seat. I see the anointing fall on the person right now. That young man, that young man, that anointing is on you right now. Wherever you are, wherever you are. Yeah, that is a spirit. That's a spirit. That's a spirit. That's a young man. That's a young man. That's a young man. That's it. <laughs> hey, that's a young man. That's a young man. Hey, my altar is calling you. Hey, my altar is calling you. <laughs> they are pattern of the spirit that the church must keep. They are pattern and dimension in the spirit that we must be connected to. Take my place. Choir, can I hear you? Take my place. Come on, Yala. Take my place. My old is calling you. My old is calling you. prophecy is racing on people there are specific people that I saw that anointing of prophecy and another person I see the grace of speed is speed I see 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 speed receive it receive it and people will begin to run all over all over receive it receive it people will begin to run right now <laughs> I pray for all my viewers that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you may know the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the same Every veil that covers you, be lifted in the name of Jesus. I pray for the sick and those that are under demonic affliction. I come against every demonic prescription and diagnosis of the enemy. And I now speak into the realm of the spirit, the spirit responsible for your condition. And I command the spirit to lose its hold and power over you. And I command your healing and your recovering 
right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for allowing us to come into your home to be of great blessing. Listen to us, same time, same station, and keep receiving illumination and impartation through our telecasts. Amen. Bye-bye.